So instead of doing three rounds where you get three baskets, you've got one basket. And instead of just using every item in the basket. Which is insane, by the way. Which is very hard to do. Yeah. Yeah. You have extra ingredients in your basket and you will have 50, 5 minutes. You're welcome to divvy up the responsibilities of each team any way you choose. Anyway, you do it whenever you want. Do it, you know, halfway through, whatever works. Okay. So, so your your job is as a team to well, create. We have, uh, to come up with a well, that now is not plate, the best time. One plate, using all of the ingredients. You could combine them all into one dish on the plate. You could make three or four sides. You could make one main and one side. The key is you have to use every ingredient in the basket. Well, you have, has to, have to use all of them. You don't have to use all of every ingredient, but it has to be enough of it used so that it's discernible. If there's anything that you want that's not in the basket that you think would add to your dish, ask Anna or myself. If we have it in the kitchen, we'll get it for you. Do you have salsa? We do have salsa. <laughs> do you have a bucket of Kentucky Fried Chicken? chicken? <laughs> we do not. <laughs> Presentation at about a third and taste at slightly less than a third because I have to add in cleanup. <laughs> cleanup is an important thing. Cleanup is 10%. <laughs> <laughs> 50 at minutes. Five oh. At 50 five oh. At the 50 no, minute mark, three completed five. plates. Yeah, you should yeah. cook enough for eight people so that when we're all done, we can all sit down and eat what you made and you can eat the other team's food as well. I'm going to want to eat that. <laughs> the ingredients, which we're getting to right now, in the baskets are identical in terms of product and quantity. So you're welcome to look in your baskets. Okay. Oh, right. yeah. Mung beans. All right. So that's going to be tough. Kind of Somebody has to cook these. That's three year age food. Right. Should, should we do it though? Okay. I think we'd like white. So we should be going into the room now and okay. You should go into your kitchen. Okay. okay. Let's rock and roll. You can go through the courtyard if you prefer. All right. Uh, three for the judges and the press is going to share. So I say just do concentrate on the three for the judges, and then the rest of it can just be one big piece. Are there any tomatoes? All right, we have, so what the hell are we doing? I would think maybe a um, saute. <laughs> Okay. I'd say that's very creative. Would they need to be served with something? Like treat it like a little bit. What would you do with the portobello? Do what the portobello would do with the portobello. We don't want to stretch them. Um, we could cut the portobello over the same thing. So you have to say, I'm going to put it in the Yeah, should we add anything it could be good. Yeah. Yeah. Some apple in it? We're doing the apples in the. We could do it in that, though. It going to taste better. Good teamwork. And we could take it out of the box, right? Are you looking up recipes? No. <laughs> it's too late for that, anyway. <laughs> So who knew Gordon's would be this competitive? I did. Oh, come on in. <laughs> you have 28 minutes. Guys, we have to hurry. Alright, what do you need me to do? Get some plates? Well, welcome to our winning kitchen. You have 25 minutes. Welcome to our winning kitchen. 25 minutes is like an eternity in the kitchen for us. Yeah, either one. Either one. Is it one right here? Not sure, but I definitely have one or the other. Let me check.
we'll just go for the other one. Uh, the hake is coming along nicely. Well, we have our bok choy going and some diced portobello. Mushroom and wine. What kind of heat, Ma? Medium for three to five minutes. Keep them moving. Any oil or anything? No. They have natural oils. oils come out. Right. Simple nose. It's a beautiful one. If you could just stand to the side. Okay. We're not going to dress it until we're closer. You want these cracked up any smaller? Okay. I'm going to take this off. Actually, I'm not going to, Alex. Is right. there a box of cheese? salty enough? Yeah. Right. They need to be cooked more, though. Okay. Okay, okay. yeah. Got all my time. About six minutes and thirty seconds. Okay, you should check in the other kitchen for this thing. Can this be clean? Yeah. Can you have yeah. Did I see diced tomatoes somewhere? Yes. I use them. Okay. Ooh, they're gone. We have plenty of time. All the time in the world. This is such a piece of cake. You're looking at the face hey, of a winner. Oh. Okay. Good. Is this just an extra mom for everybody else to taste? I would put salt and pepper in it. I mean, to me, they're really bland, which I know they're supposed to be. Uh, they need some definite pepper up here. What? Pepper. Do you have it? No, no, I'm asking. Uh, Come here. Pepper pepper right there. There's two right next to you. Why not use a spoon to do that? Are you talking to me? Anything else? Out of the world? Where did the strainer go? Down on the bottom to the right of the range. I cleaned the strainer already. Chef Gordon Ramsay over here. Grandma. <laughs> perfectly cooked. I was concerned the hick wasn't getting enough time in the oven, but it's perfectly done. Okay, so they oven cooked. We decided to pan sear ours. Classic. And a controversy. Yeah. Yeah. Subtle very fresh. Right. Nice, uh, nice flavoring. Nice combination to it. Very nice and salty. Yeah. 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 Very nice. There are some very unfortunate crunches in the mug. I like them al dente. I don't like them when they're old. Ours are definitely rico. Are those not the walnuts? Barbara, we're looking for comments. There's no fear of that. It's here. very good. Excellent. The fish is nice and juicy. Mm. And I always like walnuts in the salad with the apple. Mm. I use that. And as Mark said, the balloons are al dente. So you have your pan seared cake uh, sautéed in a butter lemon sauce, light seasoning, served on a bed of mung beans with gouda and apple. Um, cooked in there as well. And on the side you have sautéed bok choy and apple with your garnish of radish and I like the use of the radish leaves. I think it's very nice. It's a nice garnish for the plate. Good, hey, good beer idea. Also, good an idea. Good idea. Perfectly cooked. Leo. High five. Woo! Woo! Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. Very, very um, nice. Um, Two points for Gryffindor. It's got nice flavor. Yeah. Yes. 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 There we go. Yes. And no crunch. <laughs> so it's. Yes. So no it's texture. unanimous then. Cooked, no texture. No, no. We added the apple for texture. Yes. And, and a slight and, uh, sweetness, but the gouda right. to make it a little creamy. Mm -hmm. I think the apple and the cheese works really buzzing. well because you can always have cheese and apple together. And with the mung, it works really well. I think you both really did great job. Wow. wow. Really, really great job. Mm. But, 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 but. <laughs> but as we get There's to the later so rounds, it's harder and harder to choose. The bottom, the bottom <laughs> line is, I think if if this fish was on this plate, right, or everything on this plate was on that plate, that would be the best combination of the dishes. This has just a little hint of spiciness to it. This works really well. Oh, the paprika. Yeah, it's the paprika on the on the hake. And it was something in your.